Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Cindy. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. I've been busy being lazy to be honest. So um adjusting, I'm sleeping late, waking up late, cleaning here and there. I just did the dishes because I hate to do the dishes with my with all my passion, with all my soul. I hate it. I honestly hate it. I'd rather mop and sweep and clean toilets. But I just hate washing dishes. So I'm just done with that. And sorry about my nails. Um, I was just cleaning. And finally I have your the flower tutorial. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. But here it is and it's very easy. So what you need is a hot glue gun. Mine is getting nice and hot. Um, I'm we're gonna make a red rose. The and I'm gonna um, um, sew it with black thread so you can see where is it that I'm sewing. Um, get a nice long piece of thread. Uh, mine is about mine is about 20 inches, and the ribbon that you need is um, 20 inches too. So this ribbon is is width is one and a half. You can always use the the two inch one. It works perfect and just the same. So once you cut your ribbon to 20 in inches, uh, which I have done, um, so what you do is burn the ends. And I have one shiny side and one, um, and I have one um, dull side. So on the shiny side, so here's the shiny. I hope you can see it. So on the dull, the dull side is up and the shiny side is down. So what we're gonna do is fold it this way. Fold it like this, okay? And now we're gonna fold it again in half. So it should look like a little sailboat. Let me, maybe if I close my curtains, it might work, or you might be able to see. Okay, so again, we fold it this way to a little triangle, and then we fold it again. Okay, now you get your needle and thread, and we're gonna do like a little slip stitch so it will not come out. And it's lip stitch basically what it is. So you lift the end a little bit loose. You slip it in here. And it should stick together. So now we're just going to do a run on stitch from here. Just like that. Okay. Now when you have... Oh wait, I think I need a little bit more. Okay. So it should look like this. And I hope you can tell with the black thread. Okay, so now what you're going to do, and this is going to get a little bit confusing, you're going to fold it back. What I like to do actually is turn it over, so it should be on this side. What you're going to do is fold it back, fold it back, make sure it's back to its sailboat, fold it back, then turn it over. And we're going to bring this corner down. Okay? So you, sh you should fold a triangle. Actually, let me, let me uh, move the camera so it can be easier. That way you can understand what I'm doing. Okay. So what I was telling you is... So you see the little sailboat, we're going to turn it over just like this, okay, and then we bring the corner down, okay, so it should look like a little triangle, I think that's way better, I don't know why I had it the wrong way. So then we're going to do another run and stitch. And I know, but make sure it match, if you're doing a red rose, make sure you do it with a red thread. That way you won't see the black. I'm just doing it black so you guys can see how it looks. Should look like this. Okay, now again, we fold it back. So it should look like this in the front, like a little arrow. And then from the top part, we bring it... So you fold it back and the top part we bring it down. 
So make sure your shiny side is showing. You don't want the dull part, especially when you're working with a ribbon like mine. Mine is a satin ribbon. So every time I get satin, the bottom part is always um, dull. So again, you do the run on stitch. So again, you have a triangle. You fold it back, just like this. And then you bring the top corner. Make sure when you fold it back, you align it with this corner, with this one. So you line it with that, you line it up with that, and in the top corner you bring it back down. And again, you're going to do a run and stitch. It's going to look funky at first, like this. It's okay, that's how mine's looking too, but it's going to turn out like a pretty rose. So again, fold it back, forward. So, a lot of people have asked me, where have I been, what's wrong, what happened, well, just today, well, I go to school tomorrow on Thursday, so I go to check my future classes to see, you know, what's my homework, to go ahead and do it, and then it says, our records indicate that you're not in school, and I'm like, what, what do you mean I'm not in school, so I went ahead and called my counselor, and told them, well, um, why aren't I in school? And they said, well, you got dropped out of the class. And I said, well, why is it that I'm dropped out of the class? I don't understand. And they said, because you didn't pay. It. And I'm like, um, yes, I paid. If you would have checked your system, it will show that I paid as soon as I found out I had to pay for my school. And by the way, I pay out of pocket. I know I should. The, okay, the reason why we don't pay out of pocket is because my husband hates loans. So we have to pay for my school out of pocket. So um, I do get like Pell Grants and stuff, but it's not enough to cover my entire um, tuition. So that's why um, some we have to pay more than others do. So I fixed that. So I talked to my counselor, it's fixed. I can go, sorry, sorry about that. I can go back to school tomorrow on Thursday and then well now I can see what assignment it is what assignment I have to do because I'm still not on 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 the list so I'm still it doesn't say that I'm it doesn't show that I'm going to school tomorrow so I'm gonna talk to the teacher tomorrow when I see her and I, I last time I checked it was a female teacher so I'm gonna talk to her and let her know what happened and that uh, if I can do my turn in my homework a day later a day later just because you know I was dropped out of class and I found out late and I mean I pay for the class I can't believe because they thought I didn't pay they dropped me automatically I'm I mean oh my god I couldn't believe it but um I guess that's how it is so next time when I pay I'll make sure I'll call him and then I'm just a civilian um, my husband was in the military so the school put me on a military division sort of thing because they thought, I guess they thought the GI Bill was going to pay for my school. And I told them, look, look person, the GI Bill is not going to pay for my school. I didn't serve the country, my husband did. So put me on a regular counselor because I don't know what I'm doing here. So, okay, sorry about that. Well, long story short, finally I have a regular civilian counselor who understands and I don't have to deal with military counselors because all they want is literally the GI Bill. Okay, so before I go for, um, before I finish it, I'm gonna go ahead and bend it again, bend, fold it, bend it, fold it, and then bring the corner forward, um, stitch it, do a run and stitch. Oh Jesus, it's so hot here. Okay. So you get to this part. See what I can do, I can try to fold it and then do this. Okay? I could get another petal like that. But what I'm gonna do is just I'm just gonna leave it like that. At this point, when you get to this part, all you gotta do is do a run and stitch up here where that triangle is. Sorry, I didn't show you where this triangle is. You're gonna do a run and stitch. Okay. 
and we're gonna cut the end off just so I won't confuse you confuse you usually I just use the end because I hate to waste ribbon and um, then you burn the edges let me get a lighter and my back hurts just Oh, my back hurts because I was fa I was fixing my little room, my little crafting room, and I'm gonna put up a video after because I really need. I'm excited, so I need. I have to show you what I have. So then, let's see. Let's make it a little smaller. Let's make it a little tighter. I think that should be enough. I know it looks ugly. Trust me. So it should look ugly. And then I'm gonna do slip stitch on the end just so that my just so that my thread won't fall. This is a slip stitch, you leave a little bit of string hanging. It's so bright in here. The camera makes it look bright, but it, actually it's not. It's, it looks it's look it's not even bright at all. Oh my back. Okay. So then here's where you start right so this is how your um, run and stitch should look just like this it looks like little ants walking on a red 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 trail right there so here in the very beginning what we're gonna do okay right here in this little triangle let me try to zoom in Okay, this little triangle. We're just gonna turn it like this, you see? I'm just gonna turn it. And then here comes your hot glue gun. It's gonna put a little bit of glue. I know it looks funky, looks awful. But make sure you connect your um make sure your um your thread is touching with the other threads okay that's not coming out at all okay make sure they connect they touch together they touch each other come on my glue gun is shy that's why okay just like that Ugh. It's very hot in here. I have the door closed because um people come. People just walk by my house. Sometimes they make noises. So I don't want you guys to hear something. Right now my fan is on because it's hot in here. Okay? So there it is. Actually, I don't know why this one looks different from the first one. And then from there, I'm just gonna cut the bottom part, burn it, and then you can add a piece of felt to it or anything you like. Let me. S why is it so light? this there you go you know I think this one I did it way tighter than this one that's why it came out different but I plus I think I must have used a 24 inch ribbon and this one's just a 20 inch so you can see how this one's a little bigger than this one but um, um this is it this is the rose I think I must have this one is different I think. Oh, now I need to double check. Sorry about that. But okay, so this is the rose that we made. Hope you guys like it. Please let me know. I mean, I know it looks black here on the bottom, but if it were but if it was red, it, you won't be able to tell so much. But you just put a little piece of uh, circle felt flower if you like and then there you go. There's your flower. You can use it as a headband, as a brooch. You can make like a little bouquet like three different colors maybe add a black one right here and then it should be good for a brooch 
but here's the flower tutorial I hope you guys like it I think this one might be a different pattern and I'm gonna go and make it and I'm gonna make another flower video and see how it comes out but hope you guys like it and sorry it was too long bye bye